Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Designer's Studio episode. Uh, today we're capping off Homefront Bricks uh, with Dan Siskin. We're looking at the H125 uh, CHP helicopter. So I, we talked a little bit about this during the original check-in, but this helicopter is a very round helicopter in real life. <laughs> yes. And not only that, but it has a lot of functions in a very small place. Yes. So how, how was that <laughs> approaching it initially? I mean, the fact that you got the doors to work kind of blows my mind. Um, it was a challenge for sure because it's not much bigger than the Kiowa. Mm -hmm. um, the Kiowa we could fit two figures and it actually could fit four figures if you took the doors sure. off, the, the, the rear doors off. And I was like, well, I have to do the same thing. For this, uh, it has two pilots that usually on a, this particular flight, this is a California Highway Patrol search and rescue helicopter. They have a paramedic, they have a pilot. So it's mm -hmm. two, a crew of two. They really don't put a lot of people in this thing. Right. Um, this particular unit um, is up in the mountains, so they, they're already having elevation issues. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't, you, you know, there's not much room, even like space-wise or weight-wise, where they can haul a lot of people around. Sure. This thing. So uh, it's really designed to uh, optimize cargo, optimize equipment, um, kind of like a clown car. They have so much equipment crammed into this thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that it's just like never-ending amount of equipment. And we actually printed a lot of the stuff in here. In the interior, yeah, it looks fantastic. So it was a challenge to get the this, this shape, the this size, um, and it uses a lot of the same sort of techniques that I put in my larger aircraft. So there's like parts built upside down, the bottom, mm -hmm. the bottom is built upside down, the, the, you know, so you have, you're, you're smooth all the way around in this thing. Um, Which really adds to the aesthetics. If, if the colors weren't enough <laughs> to make it a pretty model, but the nice plated aesthetics are wonderful. Right, too. and it was kind of, this is a unique challenge. It was, not only is it small, but it does have that swoosh color to it. We could have printed it, we could have made stickers, mm -hmm. and I, I, it just spoke to me like, hey, let's try to do this, this brick swoosh built. in brick built, um, because Lego has this sort of uh, uh, golden color brick. It's mm -hmm. a, they call it a pearl gold. Um, so I, I, I managed to find enough pieces, enough different parts in that pearl gold to make the swoosh, like physically build it in the, into the model. Mm -hmm. um, it does make it a, a build, bit of a building challenge. Um, when you're building this thing, you actually have to build the little pieces in different colors, because sure. it, it's, it's a lot of little pieces put together. And, mm -hmm. and, it's kind of one of those things like as you're building it, like it, it, everything has to be sort of lined up. And, and so mm -hmm. it's, it's not a beginner's kit. It, it's small, but man, it's, there's a lot of uh, uh, finicky techniques put in it. Sure. Thing. Yeah, so, and I think it, it is on the, the advanced building skill level too, which you can kind of see, I mean, just with in the check-ins we've done when we've been opening the doors and looking inside and the pilot doors and the sliding doors oh, yeah, open let's, and let's, the let's winch works, off. like all that kind of yeah. stuff crammed into such a teeny model, you gotta imagine there's quite a few different techniques used to, to capture that detail. So in the real helicopter, this rear door would slide. I mm -hmm. couldn't do the slide because there's just not enough room to, to put that mechanism. So it does as a hinging mechanism, so you can simulate it slide, but you can open up, the, they're like a double door. So mm -hmm. if they do wanna get equipment out, they, they can do it very easily. Right. Um, when they're in sort of search and in rescue mode, you know, they have this, this winch out on the other side here. Mm -hmm. um, they can deploy the winch and, and you, you basically will have the, uh, paramedic, he doesn't go down the hoist. But he's, yeah. he's clipped on and leaning out. Right, right. So actually in the minifigs that, that, that Landon's going to talk about, mm -hmm. they actually show the harness and, you know, you don't want to fall out of the helicopter. It's not, <laughs> not much of a good of, of being a search and rescue crew when you fall out of the helicopter. Right. Themselves. Then they got to go look for you. <laughs> right. They said another helicopter. Right, right. <laughs> so you stand there. Usually what happens is there'll be people on the ground mm -hmm. helping um, if they need to drop a, a basket or, or, you know, like a, a you know, sometimes it's, just, sometimes it's just a, a harness. You just drop it down. You, you wrap this thing around you. They hoist you up. Right, you can like, sit in it. You're mm -hmm. like the, the sole, sole hiker lost in the mountains mm -hmm. or something. But a lot of times they'll be, they'll be pulling people out of places where paramedics have already gotten to. Right. Paramedics on the ground have, have, have secured the, the, the victim, either put them in a stretcher or some sort of basket, mm -hmm. and they can haul it up. And they, they won't actually bring the person inside, typically. They'll, if they're in a basket, they will actually secure the basket to the side of the and helicopter, get out of go there. to the nearest place where they can transfer to an ambulance or something. Yeah. So it's, it's not like they're, they're flying around long distances with this mm -hmm. thing. So. No, that makes a ton of sense. And I like the, I like the deployable winch, uh, if, you, if you show yeah. that off again. Because it kind of it does sit really nicely right next to those doors right. when you've it, got it, it all closed. closed. Like on the real thing, there's an arm, right. and it, it pulls out. So I, I I don't have the winch on the arm like the real thing does. I actually the, there's a, there's a drum on the backside. It's kind of hidden here. Um, the drum is the drum is hidden, and you can actually you know if, if you're coordinated, you could actually hold the helicopter <laughs> with one hand and, and yeah, right. use, use the hoist. <laughs> it's 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 a bit of a challenge, I, you know. I, I got big fat grown up fingers, <laughs> snicker bar fingers. And I like the way I like the way it works, though, in the sense that it's not just all crammed onto the edge there to, to like right. increase the functionality of it, but it is still functional if you want to use it. Right, right. And you can take it off. Right. I mean, if you wanted to just tie the tie the hook onto the, mm -hmm. the hoist, you can, and, and then have a nice clean look on it. But it's it's you know. 
<laughs> it's fun to have a, you know, it is a toy. It's fun to have something right. that works. It does, does what it's supposed to. Well, and if you're setting up mocks and stuff like that too, saving that person out of the river in Lego City. You know? Right, yeah, <laughs> you, you can do it. Um, it's a little hard to see probably from the camera, but there are a ton of printed tiles. So the back of the, the back bulkhead of the uh, helicopter is where they have all the equipment just sort of secured to the bulkhead. Mm -hmm. So there's pouches full of like all the different uh, uh, emergency medical tools. There's a, there's a AK, uh, <laughs> EKG machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> um, EKG machine. Yeah, sorry. Tongue, tongue, cat got my tongue. Holly got my tongue. Um, <laughs> and all a bunch of pouches. There's an oxygen bottle. And we printed all that stuff. Um, we printed the, con the, the sort of the control, the cockpit controls. The CHP on here is printed. The only thing that's not printed on this whole thing is the number on the, the, the sort of the, the aircraft number. Oh, Those there is one sticker. Okay, because sticker. I was going to ask. <laughs> it didn't right. look like anything else was a sticker. So this, we chose this as the default sticker. It mm -hmm. is actually... Um, my friend, my childhood friend, is mm -hmm. a is a paramedic for the California Highway Patrol. We grew up together in South Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. He today he's he's almost retired. I think he can actually retire now, but he's gonna stick around for a little while. So all of you California Highway Patrolmen out there that are buying this up, thank you, appreciate it. But you can thank uh, one of your fellow officers for bringing this to my attention and making this <laughs> making this set happen. So. Well, and what a cool model to, <laughs> to actually have come to fruition because I mean. You know, we know what Brickmania has done in the past. So this home front Brinks was kind of a new, new avenue to go down, and this this really complemented it nicely. And like I keep saying, I love the colors because right. it's just we do so much dark bluish gray, and when it's not that, it's some sort of <laughs> camouflage. This right. is cool to see. Right, right. And this 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 is this was fun to do. Um, and I should I kind of finish that that thought that there are stickers for the other helicopters. Sure. So the sticker sheet comes with a whole row of stickers. Mm -hmm. um, so every tail number, every aircraft number that I could find for the California Highway Patrol in this particular, this is the, the latest uh, air rescue helicopter mm -hmm. that they have. Um, I put, I included those numbers. I may not, I may not have gotten all of them. I was, I was, I did a pretty extensive web search, but wow. I may not, may not have them all. So you, if, if you're a particular base is, or area, region, you want to have it mm -hmm. included, it's there. You, you would know what your, your number is, but. That's it, really, really cool. So. I, did, I did not know that we had that, that many variety of that number, but man. I think it's like eight or nine. Eight or oh, nine really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't have a sticker sheet in front of me, but yeah, it, it, is, it is pretty, it, trying to be as inclusive as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done that before. We've done some of the Coast Guard. We've put the different bases and different, you know, a, at least a sample of each one in there. Sure. One, I really like that door tile too. That's that's a really pretty printed element. <laughs> right. Um, just um, looks really, really good. Very Lots of detail. Very iconic. There's there's a little uh, forward looking infrared camera kind mm -hmm. of thing here. Um, the track of beam. That's what this this thing on the bottom here. That's kind of a crazy little build you got going down. <laughs> it's, it's one of the you know like if you're swooshing it around, you'll knock it off with your finger or something <laughs> yeah, you every could, once in a while. Could. But putting it back on, I was like, well, that's a that's some there's some cool connections down there to to, right. to capture that. That 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 track of beam. It's it's the same one that's on the Coast Guard helicopter. Sure. It's actually a brand. I mean, I, I probably am breaking some sort of like <laughs> trademark, but we're, I guess we're not using it as a marketing tool. Right, exactly. And it is a real, a real, a real thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is strong enough to play with, I should point out. This, yep. is, this is not going to fall apart. It is a little challenging to put together. Once it's together, it, it is, is super strong. The, the back here, we're experimenting with some different materials. So we used to, Lego flex tubing is normally what we would use on, mm -hmm. on, a, on a part, but it's, it's actually quite difficult to get these nice swooping curves with the, with the flex tubing, unless you're really the kink. experienced. Yeah. Yep. Um, this is rubber gasket material, same diameter, but it's solid core rubber. It's kind of a neat thing, and we're, we're introducing it into some of the models when we can. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's just, it has a little bit more give to it for one thing, but. Uh, um, is the clutch pretty good, like clipping into a, yeah, it's into one a Lego? It's one eighth inch, you know. Lego is, a, is, is in English sizes. It's mm -hmm. 3.18 millimeters or something like, sure. where did they come up with that number? Oh yeah, it's one eighth inch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, the Lego, Lego, the dimensions of the Lego bricks predate the metrics, you know, the, mm -hmm. the European, you know, adaption of the metric sure. system. So. Interesting. Quite, quite the complete model, though. So there you have it, the H125. Any other functions that you want to go over before we dive into this crew? Uh, no, I think that's it. I mean, it's 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 cool. You got the guys will fit inside of it. I, mm -hmm. We could have started with them in there, but you'll just have to take my word for it. They do fit in there. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, it's 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 cool. It's sturdy. The, you know, the rotors do their thing. Um, yeah, it does everything but fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a very, very unique model. You know, now that Dan has expanded into this uh, into this area, you know, drop a comment and, and let him know what you want to see. Uh, built next. Otherwise, let's bring in Landon now because this model does come with a crew of two minifigs and let's hear a little bit about the uh, development, some of the help that Dan's friend uh, passed along to Landon. All right, jumping over to the crew for the H125, a uh, little two-man loadout here. What are, what are we looking at, Landon? Yeah, uh, obviously the pilot and then we got this guy in the harness back here. 
uh, directing that hook down as, during the descent. Um, so two, yeah, two man crew, uh, similar uniform at a glance, but there are actually some pretty distinct uh, things on their um, vest and harness here. Um, so starting with the pilot, uh, brand new pistol holster, um, some updated uh, vest artwork as well. And then he's got like a knife, he's got some surgical shears, he's got a radio, this guy's like ready to go. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun, we got some actual like first hand source pictures um, of an actual um, vest um, from an acquaintance at the end. And uh, so it was cool to kind of reverse engineer the actual picture and try to recreate that as accurately as possible. How much time does that save you? Uh, I mean, re it, uniform it, <laughs> research is before you can build it, a minifigure has got to be a huge part of your process. Like It kind of saves time, but at the same time, like you, like you, this is like the actual thing. Yeah, you better capture so it. So it's like you got to like be really precise about it. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it is time saving, but it also makes sure you, you have to really pay attention mm -hmm. to, to, the, to the details. Because it's not like a, uh, somebody putting together a uniform in like a museum or something where right. maybe it's not all the pieces, mm -hmm. but uh, this, is, this is everything. It's like he's got his little knife holster like zip tied to the side of the thing. Mm -hmm. Whatever, it's cool. Um, <laughs> nice THP on the back. Um, some insignia on both shoulders. And then of course, you know, based off of the, the, the source material, you gotta get that pilot mustache. That's just yes. seemed to be a, a seemed, I think you have to have a mustache to fly a helicopter. I think that's the regulations. Look at that. I don't know, I don't know. Well, <laughs> it seems to work it for me. It seemed very, very common. Yeah, though. right. I think I think the source material speaks for itself just, in the just, sense just that there's no shortage. The historical evidence, that's mm -hmm. all. Um, <laughs> moving on to this guy here. His vest is similar at a glance. There's some, some common features. Both have the radio. This is a slightly different pouch for that radio. Um, a slightly different pistol holster. This would be a more like enclosed pistol holster. Mm -hmm. So it just wouldn't get snagged as easily. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas the pilot might have a more... A, a, so, uh, slightly quicker access to the pistol. Uh, this thing's a, a bit more buttoned up. Um, two different retention lanyards. There's a blue one and a red one. Um, the red one on the front, this blue one kind of wraps around to the back. And that's just so they can uh, attach themselves uh, on the inside of, of the helicopter when they're kind of leaning out the uh, side doors, just so they're you know safe and secure inside the helicopter. Yeah, who wants to lean out of a helicopter without having something either strapping you in or ready exactly. to catch you if you fall? <clears throat> um, both the guys have their uh, nice badges on the front of their vest there. Um, and then there's re retention harness all across this guy. That's, that's, such a, that's one of the more time-consuming parts of designing minifigures are when they're wearing like parachute harnesses mm -hmm. or like repelling harnesses because it's crossing like four surfaces sometimes. And mm -hmm. so it's like you have to kind of track where everything is going and making sure the lines... It's almost impossible in some angles to get the lines to perfectly hit each other. Mm -hmm. So it's actually kind of part of the artwork is that I actually want to allow for a little bit of flexibility in that printing um, to make it easy to print, to make it look nice no matter what, um, and just add, add, create a cool figure overall. Um, and to make this, you know, we're making several hundred of these over the course of you know this kid's lifetime. And I might use that artwork again on future figures. So it's sort of like I want to make this artwork bulletproof. Um, and so this is kind of no exception here. So this harness was a beast to put together, but I, I think it turned out cool. So. Yeah, it absolutely did. It's a, it's a great looking crew and that, that trial and error process that is part of the development is definitely uh, time consuming and at times frustrating, but uh, when you get a result like that, it's, uh, it's definitely worth it. So considering the printing that goes into the model that comes with them, the printing on the figures uh, is excellent as well. So really just a very cool kit, uh, super unique for, for home front bricks. Um, but but a really really excellent model altogether. So anything else you want to go over with the crew? Uh, no, I think that covers it, man. Okay, then there it is, the H125 CHP helicopter. Tune in next time. We'll go over another Brickmania kit.